find. Here's uh, one more tomorrow. Security's too good. Commonwealth's first 
Houston only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator. Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable, I must say, darling. You seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's... nothing special. Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Here's a thing, a, a sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. <laughs> Choice Chops wants you to know we have meat, just meat. Stop asking if we have anything else. Adam Bomb Baby is next. Yes, uh, it's five to five stars. In case you were wondering and didn't already know because I played it before. Hey there. You've got to help. My sister's been kidnapped. Who kidnapped her? 
They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Do you know where they took her? I'm pretty sure. I'll mark it on your map. Don't worry. I'll get her back. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know what I was going to do. Just bring her back safe, okay?
Some motherfucker!
so little time. You just gotta buy them. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot uh, death flying faster than the speed of sound? Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. I've got a few minutes to browse. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped that for parts. Mr. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Undecided by Ella Fitzgerald. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. 
Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no.
You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, that our security team can't follow every case that comes through, I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more, more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Hmm, well, a big Before Diamond like, uh, City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Choice chops. Look, I gotta go get settled in, meat. but, um, Just meat. stop by my office later. Stop asking if we have anything I have else. an idea for an article you'd be perfect now, for. King Crosby, everyone. Yay. Hey, sweetie. Talk to Abbott at the wall. If you want a history lesson. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Free paper to newcomers. It's the institute of Anyone is one of those things. It's the secretary of Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? I'm a What? You mean? I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Are you okay, honey? I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... the detective... he's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does.
Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. Love to have expenses. Don't play games with me. I'll Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. I'll pay you. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of this. Don't play games with me. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick. But it's going to be a hundred caps. <laughs> hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I, I do have a hundred twenty five caps in the old rainy day fund. Come on, this is your boss's life we're talking about here. Don't play games with me. Come on, this is your boss's life we're talking about here. Don't play games with me. Come on, this is your boss's life we're talking about here. Fine, we'll make it 150 caps. Last chance. Put some real money on the table or we're done. Don't play games with me. I'll... Last chance. Put some real money on the table or we're done. Okay, you win. 200 caps is all I have. 
who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the Wuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! That's for Raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Okay, show's over. There are no Sims in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks in your damn and paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scaver. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. You know what you're looking for? We have everything. Move along. Nothing to see here. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station, here, we, we don't really make any caps, and, uh, there are, uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you are not welcome there. Upper stand residents only. This next one is, uh... Crosby. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? 
I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few topics. Interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, that's the quote. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me. Do you suspect the Institute's involved? Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now. Not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people, scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but a word in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, 
sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Read the paper, mister. Trust me. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown-nosing citizens, but it's home. The latest hairstyle from the upper stands. Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. You just heard crawl out through the fallout. Coming to you from uh, the jeweled green, I mean, the green, uh, I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City Radio. Just follow this. Wynoni Harris had a grandma that gambled, I guess, and so he uh, uh, he wrote a song about it. And I'm not just talking about it, I intend to play it. So here it is.
blue. We're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. And that was Frankie Carl there. Well, I mean, I guess it was actually Marjorie Hughes. Oh. Yeah, Wait a minute. Hey. Uh, never mind. Keep their heads down! Hey, uh, have you seen the, uh... <coughs> well, there's this article in, uh, the newspaper. Public occurrences. Boy, I mean... Well, it's, it's just something... I mean, I... Uh, I'm not saying... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying it's... Uh, well, who's gonna have your guts for God? And you know, of course, the mayor, I mean... Ooh. I mean, I was, uh, I, I asked to read, I... I have a statement from the mayor's office. You know, it's, yeah. uh... Well, awesome. I mean, it just, it just says here, there's, uh, nothing to worry about. You know? Safe and all, everybody. <laughs> kind of... It's crazy stuff. Anyway, it's, uh, well, it's something to think about, I guess. Oh, Adam Bomb Baby is next. It's, uh, it's by the Star Star, in case you were wondering and didn't already know if I played it before.
This is it. Cat? Too scared? Must have turned tail and ran. Over there. Such a positive guy that Bing Crosby. Hey. Get into position. Of course. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway. Ella Fitzgerald. 
has a happy song about Which being mad, I think. Ah. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I get it. She is complicated. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Hey. Shoot. Over here. Yep. Hold. Come on. See if he had anything worth taking. Grab anything useful. See if there's anything there. That's a plan. Take anything good. Can do. Grab that. Get that. Pick that up. Of course. Take that. Can do.
you. Grab anything useful. That's a plan. That was a uh, uranium fever by. Oh man, uh, by uh, by Elton Bridge. Take anything yeah. good. Yes. Yep. Right. So, so right there. Here's a thing. Grab that. Uh huh. A, a sort of uh, note. I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. <laughs> John and Kathy Super Salon invites you to try out the latest innovations in hairstyles. Look good. Make people jealous. Oh. Now I'll, uh, uh well, I guess I'll play some, uh, Billy Holiday. when they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? Hello? That you, Skinny? Huh? Too. On him. Gonna dance? Hmm? Yo, Psst. What can I do? Get that. Can do. Bring that here. Yep. 
check it out. Uh-huh. Grab anything useful. Of course. Take anything good. That's a plan. Can't pick this. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. What you got for me? Take a look. Hey. What can... I do.
say the word. Check it out. Smith, everybody. Ray. This time, City Radio, and I'm. Shouldn't hide. <coughs> Ain't very correct. Just of you. You little rat! Crossed us!
How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Come out. Hey, something's out there. that gambled, I guess, and so he, uh, he wrote a song about it, and I'm not just talking about it, I intend to play it, so here it is. Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private. I need you to find someone, but it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by... By bigger players until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Nick, I know you have a case you want solved, but underground and surrounded is not the best place to talk. Where the heck is he? You really want to do this here? With these hu human cockroaches around every corner?
Hey, Valentine. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. Let me know. Take anything good. Uh-huh. Grab that. That's a plan. Get that. Yep. Check it out. Of course. Bring that here. Can do. Grab anything useful. Of course. That's out of my reach. Grab that. Can do. Take anything good. That's a plan. Get that. Uh-huh. Don't see a way for me to get there. Go there. Move out. Yep. Over there. Uh-huh. Go over there. That's 
That's the plan. Check it out. Can do. Wait, stay. Drink, okay. grab, take, grab, get, I'll check it out. Here, Bring that here. Of course. Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fridge. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got... It. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Thought I saw... Tex Benicky, folks. Psst. Where the big gun. System. Bring it here. What a waste. Grab that. Uh-huh. Here's a thing. A, a sort of uh, note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City. And I'll, um... Valid <laughs> Basement. Providing top-of-the-line fashion to Diamond now. City for over ten generations. Now I'll play Ella Fitzgerald. I got this. Enjoy. Hey. Shoot. Grab anything useful. Yep. Take anything good. Of course. Get that. That's Leaving the plan. so soon. It was just starting to admire you. Check it out. Can do. Shouldn't take long. The boss says hello. Wow. There's a whole bunch of you, aren't there? For now. Just hoping they stay gone. Bring that here. Yep. Go. Uh huh. Grab anything useful. Every second you hide, I just get madder. Must have turned tail and ran. Got it. Can't keep you out. More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor?
Hey, Stop hiding. You say the word. We'll make nice. Take anything good. Of course. Grab that. That's a plan. Get that. Check it out. Can do. One you walk away. What you got for me? Bring that here. That's a plan. Grab anything useful. Take gra get ch bring, gra take, grab get ch bring, grab anything useful. Of course. Take anything good. Grab that. Uh huh. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Or, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through... Through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house? My guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Get out of here, fast. One.
Ward and and the Dominoes. Not just Billy. They were there too. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station here, we we don't really make any caps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, like this, feeling tired, need a pick me up, need a pick me up. Visit Chemicare and get a prescription today. A balanced life through chemistry. Now. Uh, Okay, let's play. Let's play Worry, Worry, Worry by the Three Sons. Hey, you're in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City.
huh? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. I aswata the game changer. <clears throat> thirsty. New Coca Cola. You want a soda? Is that it? Uh, come on. We can spare something, can't we? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Here you go. Real sweet of you. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. They look like they could use it more than us. Hey, you're that vault dweller from the paper. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... you mean it? That's right. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. that song by Warren Smith because I can't take it back is Diamond City really in danger it's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate are you kidding me there is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth a synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that of course, making sure folks are actually listening, <laughs> that's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad. He was part of the local militia, <laughs> keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who... who actually seems to get it, you know? 
So, should we head out? Coming to you from, uh, the jewel green, I mean, the green, uh, <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the, of the Commonwealth. It's we got Diamond City we Radio. Ammunition. Real quick. Here's some Betty Hutton, if you were waiting to hear it. I mean, whether you were or not, if you hear it. Swatter, swatter, who needs a swatter? Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, Left behind or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, 
People smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... Might have. I... Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. I ain't telling you how to pick He's your breath. Professional. Piper's Quick, kind of a clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. That was Butcher Pete. By Roy Brown, not, not, not the other way around. Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, it's me, Travis. Anyway. Up next, uh, uh, well, I thought I'd play the ink spots with, Here we are. Uh, Nick, maybe. hold your horses. I mean, that's what it's called. One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Go 
ahead. Try the door. Go ahead. Try the door. No way I could pick this. No. Hey, Valentine. Stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Distracted by something handsome? Distracted by something handsome? Cat got your tongue? Much as I like staring into a lovely pair of eyes. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories.
please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. the public to find out. Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Hey, swatter, 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 swing, swatter. the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. here. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. Well, San Francisco Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own. A lot of shaking. A lot of it. Yep. That was a uh, big Maybell. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man.
get hit in the head? I can relate. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him, or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. So, um, the detective's life station. isn't an easy one, here. but we, it rarely we don't really lasts for excitement. Caps. And uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, like this. John and Kathy Super Salon invites you to try out the latest innovations in hairstyles. Look good. Make people jealous. Oh. Up next, crawl out through the fallout. That's just the name of the song. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not recommending it as a course of uh, uh, scientifically recommended action. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Constantly trying to kill us. 